Okay guys, the rack is finished. I've got one gasoline roto pack, two gallons. I've got four X-Bull traction boards. I've got a small shovel. And I've got my CB antenna mounted to this rack. There is the tag and I have a tag light that works off of the trailer plug down there by the hitch. So uh, this was a piece that I took off of the trolling motor. Holds that shovel really nice. And uh, of course I've got a welder so I did a lot of welding to beef it up and add some stuff. Not the prettiest welds, but my old cheap welder, it, it does the job and it, it's burnt through, so it's good and stout. Kind of a side profile here. You can see it's not affecting my ground clearance that much at all. This is the back side. You can see my CB antenna. I have a ground wire coming from my trailer plug up to the plate that that CB antenna is mounted to. So I have a, a ground there. Those nuts on these boats holding the traction boards on actually have a lock feature in them to where you have to have a wrench to get them off. They're not just gonna work off. I did have to put some hose on my X-Bull traction boards to get that bicycle cable through. Uh, it's not gonna affect the way the tracks work. It'll be fine. And I had to have some sort of way to lock them things on there. Uh, let's go back around here and talk about these roto packs. I have a water roto pack and I bought the extension and had it mounted and I couldn't get it tight enough to where the the water roto pack wouldn't rotate and move a little bit and I just didn't like it. So I'm gonna haul the water uh, roto pack inside the Jeep. I have a place for it. So, uh, no biggie, and since it's clean water, you know, it'll stay cleaner in there. The jug will stay cleaner in there anyway. And this is good and tight here, so I'm happy with that. Of course, I've got my bicycle chain or cable run through all the handles, and it's run through a spot on the rack to where, you know, you can't get it off without cutting it or doing a combination. And you come down here, I said there's my light for my tag and where my tag mounts. I did throw some, uh, you see in there, some PVC in the space to where when I'm tightening up that holds some of the pressure so I'm not just putting it all on the traction board. Worked really good. And then uh, of course put a little logo down there. And this is one of the main things. I need to take this black tape off, it's, don't need to be there now, but anyway, that tight, uh, hitch tightener tighten this up a whole lot to keep it from rattling going down the road so that is a uh, must-have if you're hauling bikes and stuff that'll take that rattle and moving around completely out just about the only movement I have is just a little bit right here because you pull this pin and this whole thing pivots down so you can open the tailgate and when it pivots down there is plenty of room to open the tailgate and also get up in there and get into my uh, Iceco freezer that I have back there and you know pull stuff out so there's it's gonna work fine and it's keeping all when these are used they get filthy so that's keeping everything off of the roof you know if you put them up on the roof rack if they get muddy and stuff it's gonna fall down and it's gonna get on your your car uh, so uh, out of sight out of mind kind of type deal going here you know it's just gonna go on the ground and uh, of course you want you don't want your fuel inside and I really didn't want it on top of the car and I can also take the lid off and fill that with it on the rack so uh, I don't know where I'm at on these roto packs we're gonna try them you know we've got them so we'll be using them but as far as their mounting system uh, you know this one the singles seem all right but I, I do think that they should have been heavier built. That plate should have been made out of some heavier metal. Uh, I did beef this one up, so I, I'm not worried about it, but I wasn't too impressed with the uh, thickness of the, their plate. 
So that's it, guys. Just a real quick video on this. Uh, I've got more coming because uh, I haven't talked about the the rack up there and the crossbars and some of the other stuff. Uh, you can see my plug goes. I'm using the parking lot and the ground off of that plug. That's all. So until later, guys. Have a great day.